The story of David and Goliath. At that time, King Saul was the ruler of the country. He was a wicked man and not a good king. He was often moody and he was often unhappy. His servants tried to find some entertainment for him to keep him amused. So David, a young man at the time, was asked to come to the palace and play his harp for King Saul. The beautiful music made the king so much happier. I want you to stay at the palace and play for me every day, the king told David. David liked being at the palace, but soon war broke out and King Saul gathered his army together. David went home to his father. Three of David's brothers were in the army and one day he was asked by his father to take them some food. While David was talking to his brothers, there was a loud shout and a huge man walked out from the enemy lines. He was as big as a giant. Who will fight me? he roared. The man who beats me will have won the war. But if I win, then the whole army is in my power. Who will fight him? asked David. No one dares to fight Goliath, said one of his brothers. David ran to see King Saul. I will fight Goliath, he said. But you're only a boy, said King Saul. You cannot fight Goliath. I may be small, said David, but with God's help, I have killed bears and lions when they came to steal my father's sheep. Please let me try. And King Saul finally agreed. David took his sling and went to a small stream. He chose five small stones from the bottom and put them in his bag. Then he walked towards Goliath. How Goliath laughed when he saw how small David was. He charged towards the boy. David took one of the stones and put it in his sling. He spun the sling around his head, then he let it go. The stone flew through the air and hit Goliath right in the middle of his forehead. The giant man crashed to the ground like a fallen tree. All King Saul's soldiers cheered. David had won the war for them. The enemy began to run away. King Saul asked David to stay at the palace. My son Jonathan will keep you company, he said. David was glad to stay at the palace and he and Jonathan became the best of friends.